Hello, friends and enemies. Um, I am an adult, sort of, um, and oftentimes forget that my childhood even happened. Uh, but every once in a while I see or hear like a song or smell something that just like triggers nostalgia. But not like good nostalgia, more just what was even happening. Um, elementary school was chaotic. Junior high was like this weird combination of boring, but also emotionally traumatic with a little bit of chaos sprinkled in. Um, like uh, that time I convinced everyone I hacked the school website, but we will get to that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about though mainly my elementary school career and I was kind of, hmm, let me put it like this. This is about like this endless stream of weird but well thought out plans I had that were just to gain as much power and money as possible. I was, I was eight and I was like, how do I become a billionaire? How do I become the most powerful person on the, f the goddamn playground? Uh, I don't know why I was like unhinged as an elementary schooler and then like the most boring person for most of junior high and part of high school. But yeah, there, there was something. Uh, I think the, 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 the primary example of this was um, in third grade. I, I would like read books and movies where there was like a class president and I was like, hmm, I should be president of this third grade class. So I convinced the teacher like, oh, we should have a little thing where we can run for president and elect someone as the president. And she agreed to it for some reason. And then I signed up and gave a speech and I, everyone voted for me for some reason. And I was the class president. Um, this actually led to a thrilling saga known as the Saga of Frederica the Turtle because one of my campaign promises was to get a class pet. Um, I don't know why the teacher agreed to that either, but uh, I raised money for this pet from everyone in class. Pretty sure collectively we raised like $2 and change and then the teacher just uh, used her own money to buy a turtle, which was um, definitely a choice. Uh, then we also had voted on the turtle's name. We came up with the name Frederick and everyone decided to vote to name it Frederick. And then we found out it was a girl and like half the class was like, well, we can't name a girl turtle Frederick. So we just slapped the letter A on the end and we're like, S screw it, this turtle is named Frederica. Last I heard Frederica was thriving. There was a brief period of time where she escaped, um, which isn't a thing I thought turtles could do, but she did manage it. Uh, we love a heisting, prison breaking turtle queen. Um, she escaped and then she was found in someone's yard. Uh, and that is the last I heard. You know, me and my, uh, me and my sister had pet turtles when we were kids that our parents gave us. And then I guess our parents got sick of taking care of the turtles. So one day they tell us like, oh, we're gonna give your turtles to someone else to take care of for the winter and then you'll get them back in the spring. And then we never got the turtles back. Like, we kind of forgot about it. Um... We just forgot about it and then one day I was like, hey, wait a minute, and I realized that they probably never intended to give us back the turtles, they just got rid of them. Um, yeah. Anyway, back to me being evil. Um, our teacher like sort of enacted this rule where you could only be president for two terms, like in real life. So I think I, I think I got the two terms and then I like attempted to run as vice president. Uh or something. I, I don't know. I basically like tried to maximize the amount of time I was in power, even though I didn't really have any real power. It was just like, uh, I don't know, title, I guess. There was this girl, there was this drama in third grade, you know, third graders. Um, me and my friends, I, I remember her as being like the most cliche mean girl. I, I don't know if she was actually that bad, but whatever. She, we had like a rivalry, her friends and my friends, and we didn't like her. Um, someone said something about like she would secretly try to read people's diaries so I set up this galaxy brain plan where I brought my diary but like <laughs> so when I wrote diaries in elementary school I wrote them in this secret code I made up like all of my diary entries were written in code or at least like parts of it that I thought were like ooh this is sensitive information which probably means I was talking about a crush so I would just write that in this dumb little code so this diary was illegible, but I left it sitting on my desk and then was like, oh, I'm gonna go get a drink at the water fountain and then like casually look back and like see her like peeking at my diary. I thought I was so smart and clever, like, ha, gotcha. 
Um, I didn't actually like confront her or do anything with that information. I was just really smug. Uh, but in addition to attempting to acquire power, I was also interested in getting money, probably so that I could buy stupid little pens at the book fair. Uh, but I started a black market at recess sort of on accident but not but i was just like bringing random crap from my house and trying to sell it to people M my whole goal was to get real money but we also had this currency in our class called like cougar pop doll cougar dollars i don't know it was like our school mascot but you could use them to buy things at an auction and you got them for like getting good grades or being good in class so people like were offering those instead and then at first it was just me bringing stuff and being like yo give me your money and then other people were like oh cool i want to do that too but the teachers wouldn't allow that during class so it just became a thing at recess where people would bring like jewelry and stuff and we were like trading it and selling it um and then i think at one point the teachers were like don't do that so it kind of stopped but i started it and i am weirdly proud of that I also like always bought spy equipment and books at the book fair. So I had all these like invisible ink pens and um, like a spy diary. It was constant, I was just trying to spy on people for no reason. <laughs> oh, also in elementary school, we had this thing called line leader. And for some reason, everyone was like weirdly obsessed with being line leader, even though it was like, even though it would be like, oh, 30 second walk from the playground to the classroom but um, everyone like was determined to be line leader and there was a race, but I was the most determined because I had like heard the word leader and was like, ah, shit, that should be me. I'm the best. So there was like this phase where I, me and a friend would waste our entire recess just sitting by where we would line up at the end of, um, at the end of recess so that we would like be there when the bell rang and we could be first in line and we would just like trade off and just be like, I gotta be, I gotta be in front of the line. I gotta be the line leader. It's really funny to me that I was like, yes, I am like the smartest person in this elementary school. I'm going to like take over and rule everyone. Well, once I got into junior high, I, I think I kind of calmed down a bit, but um, I was spending a significant amount of time trying to figure out how to get around like trying to get around like the school website filter that would like block websites um so i was like doing all this reading on proxy servers and vpns and i like i i don't know why i couldn't get any of them to work probably because i was just stupid um uh but i mainly just wanted to go on this website called polyvore where you could just like make little outfits um that's basically all i wanted to do and you couldn't do it on the school website but i did also learn some information about coding um, but again, I was very stupid, so I only learned like really basic HTML stuff and like how to make bat files. But what was more interesting is HTML because I figured out how to like download a copy of a website's HTML code and then edit it and create a local file that um, was an edited version of the website. So you aren't actually making changes to the real website, but you can view the changes you make on your computer. So I um, downloaded the school website HTML file and made a bunch of weird edits um, to make it look like it had been hacked. I think I came up with like a hacker name. I don't remember what it was. It was probably stupid, but I wrote like, oh, well, this website has been hacked by insert name here. Uh, the only specific change I remember making is that our school motto was together we learn for life. So I changed that banner at the top of the webpage to say, we learn long enough to pass the test. And I was like, ha ha, so cool and edgy. School sucks. Anyway, so I made this file that was like an edited version of the school website. Um, and at the time I was in a yearbook class and in order to edit the yearbook, we had laptops. We never did any work in that class. I have no idea how the yearbook got made. Like me and my friend did our assignments, but everyone else was just like screwing around the entire time. But on this particular day, I didn't have any work to do. So I like grabbed random laptops. Um, I, I had emailed the edited HTML file to myself. So I downloaded onto the laptops. And then I was like, okay, how do I get people to click on this file so that it'll like open up this fake school website and make them think that they're looking at the actual website. Um, uh, so I was like, okay, um, I can edit like the file name and I can ed edit the icon to make it look like something else. Uh, what do kids like? I know, Minecraft. 
kids like Minecraft. Um, so I made the HTML file look like it was the Minecraft program. And then I just waited. This group of kids, one of them grabs the laptop and like opens it. And then they're like, hey guys, someone downloaded Minecraft on this computer. Everyone gathers around and they click on it. And then they were like, oh my God, someone hacked the school website. <laughs> and me and my friend who I like explained it to were just like sitting in the corner laughing. But um, I never came clean. I never like explained that it wasn't like really hacked. They like looked at it for a few minutes and then like went to do something else. So I kind of forgot about that. It was just kind of like a ha ha, I made them think the website was hacked. But um, several years later, the story continues. I was at high school by this point and we had career day. And so I went to this like cyber forensics thing. I, I don't know, some kind of cyber security thing where they use computers to stop criminals, cyber crime, whatever. I went to this dude's presentation and at the end he was like taking questions and talking to people. And one of the girls who was in that like group in that yearbook class, um, she like raised her hand and was like, our school website got hacked one time. And at first I like didn't really think about it. And then I was like, wait, we went to the same school. I would have remembered if the website was hacked. And then I was like, wait a minute, that was me. She's talking about me. Um, so yeah, I guess there's people out there that straight up think I hacked the school website. Um, probably shouldn't be proud of that, but I am. Oh, wait, I just thought of one last, like, very evil elementary school thing. Like, this actually feels evil. Like, this is just, this wasn't about, like, getting money or power. This was straight up just about harassing people on Club Penguin. Although, side note, I did also spend a lot of time trying to figure out how to, like, do Club Penguin hacks, like, to get coins and stuff. Trying to hack Club Penguin aside. Um, me and my friend did this thing that I call haunting people. So for those of you who, uh, like, never played Club Penguin or don't remember, you could, like, friend people. You would go online and you could just, like, add random people as a friend. And if they added you back, that meant you could click on their penguin and see where they were on the map. So what me and my friend would do is we would find strangers. One person would add them as a friend. So like you would go on, add a bunch of people, wait for people to add you back. Then once someone had added you back, the second person would just go up to them and be like, yo, I'm haunting you and just start like annoying the hell out of them and like not leave them alone. So naturally that person would go to a different part of the map to get away. But because the first person was friended them, you could see their location and just immediately follow them. So we would just follow people around on Club Penguin and like harass them and be like, haha, I'm haunting you. Um, until they left the server. Um, yeah, pretty sure that's just bullying, but um, I had a lot of fun and that's all that matters. So yeah, I spent a large portion of elementary school and junior high um, convinced that I was a criminal mastermind and that's it. There's no lesson to be taken from this except that kids are kind of weird and I will see you next time. I hope and uh, bye. <laughs>